A very warm welcome everyone, it's Nick here and we're looking at Kick Off 2 on the Commodore 64, published by Anko in 1990. Now I really, really, really love this game on the Commodore Amiga, played it hours and hours and hours back in the day, I still do, but I have to remind myself the Amiga was 512k on a 16-bit computer, this is 64k on an 8-bit computer, so it's not going to be quite as, as advanced. But, be interested to see how well they've scaled it down to make the game playable, because it's all to do with playability. Um, now, I don't think Dino Dini was involved in this version. The original kickoff on the Commodore 64 wasn't that great, it ran horizontally. I believe this one runs vertically down the pitch, as we'll pick, uh, we'll pick Italy, just to see how it plays. And we'll just play one game, I think. Now, hopefully it's not attempting too much this, but... Um, Yes, I'm not confident. 8-bit computer games on football don't tend to be overly good. Right, here we are. Players are very, very small. Uh, right, so there's different modes in this single-player practice and World Cup. I'm kicking up the pitch in blue. Um, so Italy versus whoever it was before. No player names coming up here like the original kick of 2. Um... Frame rate isn't brilliant. I'm finding this a bit hard to, to try and see. Uh, sound is, well, it's just the uh, referee's whistles like the first one. It's moving quite fast. Some of the angles are a bit like kickoff. It's been awkward. This is more like a, an attempted conversion, the original kickoff um, from the Amiga, than it is kickoff 2, especially because of the yellow um, um, information thing at the bottom. That's very original kickoff. Um, I, this is doing my eyes in. I'm not overly impressed with this at the moment. The players are too small. Although it does feel like kickoff a little bit, it's a little bit random running around the pitch. I wouldn't like to do a whole World Cup on this. Uh, ball is just white. There's no patterning on it, which I wouldn't really expect. All right, I'm running through now. Can I get a goal? 45 degree. Yellow card. Why? Well, I thought I had the ball there, so I don't know how I fouled him. Uh, the controls are a little bit slippery here. I don't feel like I've got too much control on this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wasn't... Oops, shoot! Goal, right, well done, we're 1-0 up. Don't get me wrong, I didn't uh, feel 100% control of the Amiga version, but because it was so fast, I did a long ball game and got hold of it. This one, the frame rate isn't good enough to take control of it, but I am winning by one goal to nil. Looks like we're doing five minutes each half. Hopefully I'll try and survive here, but uh, looks like we're doing okay. I've got a goal already, so that's not too bad. Don't think I could take too much of this playing it over and over again. They've attempted a lot. It doesn't seem like they've tried to scale it down too much, which they should have done. Uh, it's patterning on the pitch. Um, I have to remember to blink here. It's got the scanner on the top left to see where the players are, but they shouldn't have even bothered with that because that's that's useless. Now, you're never going to have a look at that. So they, they could have got rid of that to try and free up a bit of the extra memory to cope with the game. Um, yes, from the screenshots it would have looked okay, but um, it definitely should only belong, I think, looking at this on a 16-bit computer. Um, it's attempted too much. I can see why Dino Dini didn't get involved in this. Uh, I believe the kickoffs games were attempted to, um, well I know, they were attempted on the, on the ZX Spectrum as well. I've attempted to look at those in the past, but they were so, so bad I couldn't even get a review out of them. And if you know my gameplay, you know, God, it must have been blooming awful. This is good enough for a review, but I don't think it's good enough to actually spend any decent money on, but good to look from a historic point of view. Um, the kickoff um, that went horizontally, I wasn't a fan of either, but I'll play this that one over this because at least the ball sticks to your foot a little bit. So don't expect um, any passing going on, but... You know, I wouldn't expect that from a kickoff game anyway. If you want that sort of play, look at Sensible Soccer. Um, I don't think Sensible Soccer come out on the Commodore 64, but indeed Micro Pro Soccer did, so we'll perhaps have a look at that. Uh, if you didn't know, Micro Pro Soccer was done by the people that went on to do Sensible Soccer. At the time of recording, it's the World Cup, so that's why we're reviewing a few football games. Otherwise, uh, I might have missed this one out. But as we reviewed the original kickoff as well, I think it was only the right thing to do kickoff too. Did you have this game back in the day? Did you like it? 
I think um, if you played this without playing the 16-bit versions first, as I, as I told you, like half a meg versions, then uh, you might get a bit more enjoyability out of this. But having played the, um, the Amiga version so, so much, I just see lots of things wrong with this. But as a football game in its own right, an 18-bit, 8-bit, I don't think I can earn too much there. It's just that the playability isn't great. I'm attempting to chip the ball forward. It is a bit random. Um, maybe certain teams go quicker than other teams. I don't know if you're always playing blue against red, you did on the original uh, kickoff, but Italy play in blue, don't they? So perhaps there are different colours there. Um, you notice when the, uh, the goalkeeper kicks the ball out, there's a little pause before any players start moving. Um, I don't know if that's the CPU, just trying to calculate where everyone is. So that's a bit weird. Uh, that breaks up the gameplay quite a bit. So normally when you kick the ball out, you want to um, get ahead of it position your players this one has a pull so you can't do all the play is happening versus uh, the computers got it the red team it's just a question of me booting it up the field and trying to get on the end of it but their shooting is terrible um, presumably there's penalties in this one as well we've seen the uh, throw-ons we'll maybe have a look at corners like right, 45 degrees shoot or oh, almost so I'm having a few shots at goal at least here but there's always a danger that the um, computer opponent team just run down the end with it and just score. Uh, two halves of course like any football games, uh, first of all I'm kicking up, then the second half if we get there I'll be kicking down. It's all about holding on to our 1-0 our lead I think. Yellow card. It is possible to get players sent off in this. I don't know how you do substitutions but you could do in the 16-bit uh, the version so I suppose you can do in this. Half is ticking down quite quickly. Have you completed this one? When I say completed, won the World Cup. I've got a video up, a quite a long one from a while ago, where we did the World Cup uh, on kickoff two, uh, where I controlled England to try and bring back a bit of the glory days. If you want to watch that, give it a bit of retro love, then uh, then please do so. Good stuff. Right. Okay. Do you like this one? Honestly, let me know. Is there a bit I'm... Um, is there a bit I'm missing here? A few extra keys I can hit to maybe excite it up. A little bit lacklustre in the sound department. I think if they scaled it down, like made the pitch, I don't know. The players are too small, aren't they? If they took the idea they made on the original kickoff, um, yeah. I don't know how that. I probably would have complained about it anyway, wouldn't I, really? So I don't think I'd score this one too high, but I, I can't ignore the fact that the computer is attempting a lot of calculations at the same time. The only slowdown really as we go to half time is when the, the goalkeeper kicks it out. So 1 0. Will we hold on to our slender lead? Now, don't worry, we're not going to do a whole World Cup like this. We're just going to do. We'll, we'll do the whole game. We'll do the whole game. Shouldn't last too much longer, should it? Time ticking down. I bet they I bet they score right at the last moment. I bet they do. But uh, Italy aren't in the World Cup this time round. A bit, uh, a bit strange. At time of recording, England are still in it, but we're we're gonna play this evening. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna upload. It might this might this might go live after we we've been knocked out or gone through to the next round. Anyway, England play Colombia later on. If you if you're watching this from the future, how did we do? Did we beat them or did we get knocked out? Yes, I'm trying to get these videos done and uploaded before the football starts. It's gonna be a tough one because uh, it's Commodore 64 Tuesday. And on these days at the moment, I'll try and get free games up for you for, for those fans of Commodore 64. So hopefully there's a few of you out there. If you are, let yourself uh, known. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't got much time or comment, let me know in your thoughts as well, your favourite football games. I think people have told me that Emlyn Hughes and Micro Soccer are the best ones to have a look at. So, uh, you know, we might have a look at those before the World Cup's over. Did, did. Italia. When I'm watching the football, and it's not England playing, it's an international, I tend to support the team whose um, food I like the most. So, um, you know, I love Italian food. It's probably my favourite food, actually. If I was going to a restaurant, I'd uh, probably pick Italian rather than Indian. Because if you get things like all the pasta dishes, like um, las um, lasagna al forno, calaloni, and your pizzas, of course, are uh, absolutely delicious. And great puddings as well, or cakes like tiramisu and all that sort of stuff. So Italian food for me, it's classy. Not so much in the microwave, avoid that. Uh, those meals tend to be full of salt. So I don't think I don't think uh, people in Italy uh, would eat food from a microwave. It's all fresh food. 
I wouldn't mind living there actually in Italy. In the, in the UK, it's all like uh, moving at 100 miles an hour. Work, 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 work. No time for cooking. Um, I'm hopeless at cooking. I did uh, I did contemplate once because I'm so hopeless. I did contemplate maybe doing a video of me trying to learn to cook, but that's a bit of a distraction from retro gaming, and I don't think that'll go down too well. Of people wanting that their retro fix and watch me trying to boil an egg for six minutes. Yes. Yeah, you've got to keep it r roughly on topic anyway, although we will get distracted every now and again with the odd video. At the moment, systems we're covering are Commodore Amiga, Commodore 64, we just started doing the Atari 2600, uh, Game Boy Advance, haven't done any of those for a while, and uh, do the occasional PlayStation game too. I get all sorts of systems suggested, but I, you know, I can only do so many. Because, um, you know, you want to build up a bit of a catalogue and learn about the system. Because the more you review on a certain system, uh, the more um, wise you get with knowing what they could do and comparisons against other games and other systems too. Right. So the only sound in this tends to be the whistle. When you score a goal, there's no cheering from the crowd. I would have liked some crowd uh, cheering, but um, maybe, maybe they tried it and it's just too annoying, too white noisy. We're still holding on to our 1-0 lead. All's going good in football land. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Are we versus Russia here? I've forgotten. I, I don't know what Russian food would be like. What you, you don't see any Russian restaurants, do you? What is a If you're from Russia or been there or know uh, about it, what is a classic Russian dish you can eat? I know goulash is from Hungary, but that's the, that's the closest I can get. What's a good Russian one? Do they like their stews? Or maybe there's some, them, some top other stuff. I don't think there'll be any pizza. Yeah, there might be pizza outlets in Russia. Boom. Right, okay. So how much we got longer than half now? It's getting to a point where I've sort of like, sort of had enough of this. My eyes are going a bit silly. Um, you'll notice as well to help you. Oops, he's, he's um, flawed. Uh, the player you control flashes a little bit. In the 16-bit um, uh, version, there was a line underneath, which I prefer. Uh, perhaps they couldn't do that here. And also on the Amiga version, the 16-bit version, there's a choice of pitches, which were like normal, soggy, wet and plastic. This one, uh, due to memory um, restrictions, I presume, has just got one pitch. I don't know, I guess it must be normal. The normal pitch on the Amiga version is just green. Uh, wet's divided up into different, um, like a diamond pattern on the pitch. Soggy, um, well, a bit of a duller green, and plastic is bright green. A bit, a bit like this, really, but without the uh, the texture there. And the ball bounces really high on that one. There's also um, aftertouch you can select on those versions, and there's also wind, so the wind can blow the ball different in and out. And there were data discs too, we can do extra pitches like muddy, uh, Wembley, and uh, bumpy, um, and also icy, which was quite interesting. Although not something you'd see in today's modern day pitches because, you know, it's, it's a, a multi-billion dollar sport now. And they all have a um, pitch heating. Never will you get a point where uh, a pitch turns to mud in like the premiership divisions. Right, boot it. Right, okay, so they've got it. I need to, I need to tackle it and get it up. We're kicking uh, up. Or down, I've forgotten now. Anyway, we're kicking down. We knew this, didn't we? One nil, one nil, one nil, one nil. Now, if we get another goal, I think there's probably good enough to hang on here because they're having a lot of. There's only about 20, 27 seconds left. I think we probably got this one. Right, okay, a big boot up the pitch. Now, this is where I have problems. The goalkeeper boots it, and I have trouble getting it. Oh, good, right. Kicked it down. Now, if someone can get onto this, but my strikers is a bit slow moving. 13 seconds left. 12, 10. They can't win now. I just need to get hold of the ball. This is probably going to be their last attack of the game, and then it is all over. That's it. It's all over. Oh, I've got a red card, but it does. Is that a penalty? I might have given a penalty away in the last second. Is that a penalty? A free kick actually in the box. What's go what's going on there? That that was definitely a penalty. VAR people. Yeah, it gave a free kick actually in the box, so that's a problem. Right, can we get a goal? We're in injury time. It's going to be over any second now. Boom, right. We've got this one, folks. Italy, um, well, we've got three points in the groups. Come on, ref, blow up. Well, that's the worst shot ever. Come on, ref, blow your whistle. It's the end of the game. 
Why is this st game still going on? Right, just waste time, boot it out, dribble it into the corner, just boot it anywhere on the pitch so they can't get it. And still the game goes on. Has this referee been bribed? A bit like you can bribe the ref in speedball. No way. If they score now, I'm going to be annoyed. Come on, we've got this one. Where, Where is he finding all this injury time from? No way. Well, he's, he's already helped me with the penalty thing that wasn't a penalty. Right, as soon as I boot this, it should be the end of the match. End of the match? No. There's something funny going on here. Has this game gone wrong? This this injury time is always going to be as long as the half. I mean, what injury time was there in this game? There was a few fouls, but not that much. Only like lasting a few seconds. Man, this is getting annoying. If injury time's always this long, oh look, I've got another bloke sent off. We're going crackers. My my team are losing the losing their patience because they know the game should be over. So what am I down to now? Nine men? Oh god, I'm down now. Blow the whistle. Uh I think this game's broken. Uh we we might have to exit this because um injury time should no way be lasting this long. I think the game's gonna go on forever. Maybe until someone scores next and it'll probably be them. How long's this injury time been going on for? About two minutes? Right, okay. Now, I wasn't very impressed with this game, uh, but I, I gave it... Oh, look, they've scored now. But I gave it some kudos because it was attempting a lot of stuff. And now that injury time cheat, where we've got 1-1 one, one from where we should have won. We should have won this game. Uh, that's um, I'm marking it down for that. That's just stupid. 8-bit football. The injury time is ruining this game. I'm hoping this just happened in this time. If this happened to you quite a lot in this game, let me know. Was it a problem with the game, or has this particular version, or my go and it, just gone wrong? And the game's still going on. You'd think as soon as they equalise, the referee would blow up, but he's still adding time on. Yeah, should, should I just reset this? It's gone terribly wrong. I mean, right, here we go. We're going to get that goal back. Here he goes. He's on his own. He can't possibly go wrong here. Shoot! On the, oh God! Just had to knock it either side, and he would have, he would have, we would have won. Now, if they get another goal, yeah, oh, I've got, I'm getting yellow and red cards all over the place. If they get another goal, this will be a travesty of justice. Right, it's a free kick. I'm lining up my players in a wall with gaps in between them. You nincompoops! Boo! Da 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 da! Stupidest rules ever. Um, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. 2-1. The game was over. We were 1-0 up. It was injury time, which would only have been equivalent to about 10, 12 seconds. We've been playing for probably over two minutes. In the injury time, they've scored two goals. And from a win, we've now gone from a loss. How annoying is this game? Answer, very. This... The original kickoff now on the Commodore 64 doesn't seem so bad. Let's load that up. Let's load that back up again. All is forgiven. They're going to get another one now. 2 1. Oh, man. Oh, man. Never play this again. Never play it again, Nicky. Unless we can get a, a last ditch goal. Is this review going to go on for an hour? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was going to score again then to go 3 1 to rub salt into the wound. Never ending football match, da la 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 la. Never ending football match. It's gonna go on for years. Yeah, well, okay. Um, uh, da, 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 da. right. Another bloke sent off. How many are we down to now? Have we got any people left on the pitch to actually still play? Three red cards in injury time, I think. There's the worst wall ever. Injury time, injury time, injury time. I want the referee to prepare a report to see where he got all this injury time from. How is it calculating it? Whatever algorithm uh, they've put in Anko to calculate it, it's wrong. This never happened on any other version I played. When I say any other version, oh man, I, I mean the Commodore Amiga. 3-1. Joke. This is a joke. Man, eh? Man alive. And still the injury time continues. Three goals in injury time. Oh, it's full time now. Well done, ref. You nincompoop. Oh, man. Now, this game is flawed then. 
I uh, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Kickoff 2 on the Commodore 64, published by Anko in 1990. And if it was attempted a lot, coming together, it didn't quite work, and what you had is an annoying fest. Uh, let me know what you think about this game, any thoughts, comments that you may have. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please consider doing so, because that's a massive help to me. If you want to help a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help. And a huge thank you to everyone that's subscribed already and stayed with me. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.